Let me ask you a question. On average, how much protection does a full set of diamond armor give you in Minecraft? You might say 80%, your friend might say 60%, and I might say 30%. The answer is none of us. It's way lower. About 16%. The armor bar, your friend, Google, the Minecraft beginner handbook from 2015, it's all wrong. But let me prove it. Here are two sets of armor, but I can only take one with me to fight this Vindicator with strength 1. According to the armor bar, the iron is a better choice, so let's try that. I got one tapped. That's not too surprising, Vindicators are strong mobs, but if I go in with the weaker set, need I say more? But this is probably an obscure bug of some sort, it probably doesn't affect a regular game. If an iron axe grid does 13.5 damage, and according to the armor bar, iron armor gives 60% protection, it should do 2.5 hearts. So I can get crit on 4 hearts and be fine. Or not. That just did 4 hearts, almost double what it should have. And this isn't a bug, it happens every single game. The armor bar is broken. No matter what example you use, it always shows that you have more protection than you actually do. So what is happening here? To solve this mystery, I found a test... ...volunteer, and tested armor sets against different weapons. The result was interesting. It turns out that the protection given by armor starts at what it says on the bar, and then drops as you increase the damage. This is called armor penetration. It means for every two points of damage dealt, your protection reduces by 4%. In short, it causes weapons which do more damage to do more damage. Here is a graph of every armor and their real protection values. As you can see, every type of armor only does the protection on the bar at zero damage, and the more damage you do, the less protection you get. Luckily, this is capped at 20% of the armor's points, so you never get 0% protection, but if your opponent does upwards of 20 damage, it gets so low you might as well take leather armor instead of iron. Anyway, as the range of protection varies from the invincibility to basically none, it can make the armor bar less of an armor bar and more like a comparison bar. It sounds less useful, but in reality it's what everyone needs. No one calculates how many hits they will survive while getting chased by a zombie but a new player might need an easy way to compare if gold or chainmail is a better choice. So it isn't completely broken. Until you look at diamonds. At the start of this video, I gave you a choice between weaker armor and a stronger full iron, which beat the other by three points, but despite being ranked lower, the weak one still gave better protection. This is because another factor called armor toughness counteracts armor penetration. Diamond and netherite armor have a toughness value of 8 and 12, which is why high damaging attacks like axe crits are less effective. Though it does cause the armor bar to be even less accurate in some cases. But why is armor toughness and penetration even a thing? It needs a literal graph to understand, and the calculation for it is this monstrosity, which I'm not even going to try explain. Well, to answer that, we have to go back to when it was implemented, the controversial combat update 1.9. In older versions, this entire system didn't exist. Armor just did what it said on the label. But when the combat was changed, so was the armor. I have a theory, a game theory, that this was directly caused by the change in combat style. You see, the main difference between the two versions is how often you hit the other player several times a second on 1.8, or at a slower rate of about once per second in 1.9. The main difference of this change was to make fights more drawn out and strategic, as opposed to fast paced and short. Personally, I like this change, since it's easier for a new player to see and learn from their mistakes. However, a problem with this is fights, especially in endgame scenarios, can take hours on end. A lot of servers address this by limiting some types of loot, but what if this was the reason why Mojang added penetration in the first place? Think about it, in 1.8, players had a higher DPS the more hits they got in, but in 1.9, you can only hit as fast as the game allows. 
To counteract this, Mojang added the armor penetration system, so fights didn't take too long. And to reward players who did slightly more damage by letting them penetrate armor. However, they didn't change how the bar worked, since changing an iconic part of the UI would have only added more fuel to the fire in an already controversial update. This is good and all, but what effect does it have on PvP today? Well, I'm glad you asked. When fighting opponents with iron armor or weaker, use an axe and try to get crits, as the penetration will outweigh multiple sword hits. But if your opponent has diamond or netherite armor, you can start to use a sword, as the toughness on the armor decreases the advantage of damage. If you want to be able to tell how much armor toughness you have, there are mods which can do this for you. But the more you play, the more you get a sense for how well you are protected from different things, even if you don't know why. Overall, I don't dislike the penetration and toughness system, but that is why the armor bar is broken. Happy Halloween, unless I missed it, and thanks for watching.